Hey everybody, we are on the cusp of fall, one of my favorite times of year. One of my favorite things to do during the fall is go chase waterfowl around. Now, how do we get ourselves fired up? I think one of the best ways is gonna be able to watch 2,000 miles. This is gonna be a premiere free online. It's gonna start August 23rd through the 26th. It's gonna follow the migration of waterfowl from North Dakota, one of my favorite places in the world, the Prairie Pothole region where they produce 70% of the ducks in North America. This flyway then goes all the way down to Texas. And so we're gonna be following Jake Terry, is going to be going on public lands and public waters and showing what you can do within this flyway as well. Uh, thanks to uh, Project Upland for sponsoring this film. Thanks for Northwoods Collective for filming. I can't wait to get a little bit more fired up uh, for this fall and chasing critters around, especially after another kind of, we're coming out of COVID finally, after a drought and just kind of the heat and smoke in particular here in Montana. I can't wait to go immerse myself in this free premiere showing of 2,000 miles. Get you some. The 2,000 Miles Film and Tour is presented by Yukonuba Sporting Dog in association with Lucky Duck Premium Decoys and Kennels and is proudly supported by Migra Ammunition, Fish Pond USA, and C4 Calls. As a waterfowl hunter, most of us, especially that live in the south, you're always waiting on a migratory bird to come to you. 2,000 miles is roughly a duck's journey from where we started in central North Dakota all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. I'm Jake Terry. I'm a professional photographer and waterfowl hunter from Nashville, Tennessee. If you've got waders and you've got decoys and you've got a shotgun, you can essentially have good hunting opportunity at any state in the central flyway. You know, I think the main, main thing to focus on is just that we do have the opportunity to chase these birds and that if they're not in your home state in the areas that you've hunted maybe for several years, that there is opportunity to go somewhere else and try, try your luck. These days, I probably hunt more for my dogs than I do for myself. It's just to see them in their element doing what they do. All the sunrises, all the things that you're not gonna see unless you're in a duck line. 